Assalamu alaikum dear brothers and sisters and welcome to Quran and Islam. We hope you are preparing well for akhirah. Humans are a great creation of Allah. When we look at an animal, whether it is a small insect or a huge beast, it speaks of the great creator who made it. In fact, when we look at absolutely anything, we think about the precision and power of the creator. But did you know brothers and sisters that Allah's creations are bigger than we can imagine. He has created so many beings in this universe that some of them are not even visible to us. One of them is known as Ghouls. Ghouls are spirits who like to inhabit dark, deserted places, especially the graveyards. We cannot find strong mentions of them in the Quran, but there are some hadiths which prove their existence. According to one Tirmidhi hadith, one of the Sahaba, Hazrat Ayyub al-Ansari actually met goals. If you are feeling drowned in the sea of actions when your heart is constantly berating you from the inside, then it is a return back call from your Creator. If you are looking for a proper direction to refresh in your Iman, then our best-selling book, 100 Heart-Touching Stories to Revive Your Iman and Faith, must be your most preferable selection to read right now. The link is in the description box below. Abdurrahman bin Abi Layla reported, that Abu Ayyub al-Ansari an, had a storehouse in which he kept dates. A ghoul would come and take from it. So he complained about that to the Prophet Muhammad He said, Go and when you see her, say, In the name of Allah, the answer to the Messenger of Allah The Sahabi came back the next day and said, so I caught her and he swore that he would not return, so I released her. Prophet ﷺ replied, He has lied and he will come again to lie. Ayyub Ansari an caught her another time and he swore that he would not return, so he released her. Prophet ﷺ asked him, What did your captive do? He said, He swore that he would not return. Prophet ﷺ replied, He has lied and he will come again to lie. Third time, when he caught hold of him and said, Now I will not leave you without taking you to the Prophet ﷺ. The ghul said, Leave me, I am telling you one thing, that is Ayatul Kursi. Read it at home. Satan will not come near you nor will anyone else. Then the Sahabi came to the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and he asked him, What did your prisoner do? So he told him everything the ghul had said. Prophet وسلم, said, He has spoken the truth, but he is a true liar. The Hadith tells us a lot about the ghuls and also how should we protect ourselves against their evil. Ghuls can appear in various forms especially as females. According to this hadith, ghouls tell lies to distract believers. More important thing to note here is that reciting Ayat al-Kursi keeps all kinds of Satan and ghouls away. At another occasion, when Prophet Muhammad وسلم, warned the Muslims against the jinns of the Qabristan, he told the Sahaba to recite the verses of Adhan for protection against the ghouls. They can appear in any shape, especially as a female, to lure the male travelers. There are some weak explanations by some scholars as well, such as that ghouls are the children of the Iblis, or that they rise from the ground in the form of smoke. But we don't have any evidence in the Quran or Hadith for that. We should recite the verses of the Azan and the Ayat al-Kursi and seek protection from the evil of all such satanic spirits. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss an update. Till next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.